Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would style one item four ways again. I love these kinds of videos because they really show the versatility in those classic staples that you have in your closet and I got really great feedback on the last one. I thought I would do this instead of my regular weekend outfits uh, which are obviously very much headed towards a warmer climate and this particular one I wanted to focus on a more autumnal or winter wardrobe staple at least in my eyes which is the leather trouser. Now if if you have any requests for items you'd like to see me do this with in the future just leave them down in the comment section below so that I can kind of make a note and I thought I would alternate these with my weekend outfits videos just to give a little bit more variety so yeah I hope that you guys enjoy that so I will be putting together outfits for four different scenarios the first one is a day out with the girls which I feel like one you want to be comfortable but you also want to look cute so um yeah and also I thought I would just mention the jewelry I'm going to be wearing uh, I've got some necklaces earrings, bracelet ring, they'll be the same throughout the entire video so I will have those linked down in the description box below along with everything I'm wearing, uh, where things aren't available I will try and link alternatives and because these are leather trousers that I'm styling up I will also link some faux leather options in the description box below too. And before I talk to the outfit I thought I'd just quickly show you the trousers, these are from Girlfriend Denim and I bought them last year and I got them in a 26 and they're just a really nice cropped leather pant. So let me just quickly step back so you can see the outfit in full. I've kind of gone for a bit of a masculine slanted outfit with this oversized blazer. Um, I'll come in close so you can get a better look. So I am wearing a black t-shirt which I'm not sure how well it's coming off on camera. This one is from Redone. I've had it for a number of years now and it's got more of a slim fit to it. The blazer is from a brand called Bluv, B-L-U-V, and it has this really lovely check print to it, which I think hopefully you can see. And I, I love the fact that it's a bit oversized. So you can see here that the shoulder seam, it actually hangs off my shoulder. And then it does have this slightly longer length. So really good if you are sort of more pear shaped and you kind of are a bit wider around the hips, which is definitely the case for me. I find that this kind of length really helps to create a bit of balance and it's actually very slimming as well. Then the bag that I went for, I just opted for a small black leather crossbody just because, you know, if you're going out shopping or whatever, you just want to have something that's really easy that you can throw over your body, don't have to worry about, and that just holds all of the essentials. Then, as I mentioned, I've got the trousers. You could wear a belt with this, but I decided not to on this occasion. And then for shoes, I went with my Gucci loafers just because uh, I wanted something that was really classic. Um, but also that would kind of add to that whole slightly more masculine look. So that is outfit number one. Outfit number two, styling leather trousers for the office. And obviously this kind of depends on the working environment that you're in. But I found even my mum, when she worked in corporate, she wore leather skirts and leather trousers to the office. And I think it's all about how you style it. And for me, I really wanted to play on texture with this look because I have gone very monochromatic. And I will also show you a coat as well at the end. Uh, so I decided to pair silk with leather because I think that's a really nice way of balancing out the kind of I suppose edginess of the leather trouser with something that's a little bit more fluid and kind of I guess a bit more soft uh, so yeah this blouse is from Lily Silk and it's just one of their oversized silk blouses I went up to a medium in this for a particularly relaxed fit and I have one that unbuttoned but you could wear it buttoned all the way up to the collar I'm just gonna make sure this is focused uh yeah and i love the fact that the buttons have a slightly pearlescent detail to them i think it's really pretty and it sort of goes really well with the silver hardware on the actual trousers themselves these shoes that i've chosen to pair with this outfit are my everlane editor pumps these are in a suede and again i just think these really help to soften out the edginess of the trousers, and I think they go really well. Um, they're a really nice, easy, walkable heel, something that I personally look for a lot in heels these days. And the bag that I went for is just a classic tote. When I did my video, kind of comparing all my tote bags, this Kuyana one was the one that won out. It's just my favorite. It's so classic. It is incredibly hard wearing. I think I've had mine for gosh, over three years now, must be close to four years, I would say, and has held up incredibly well. It still looks like it's in very, very good condition. It's just got one little scratch on it, which was 
caused by one of my cats. And then let me just add a coat to this outfit one sec. For the coat, I did go for something that has a bit of structure, a bit of shape to it, but it's also a beautiful, rich green color. Uh, it kind of helps to soften up again the leather trousers. You can see there was a bit of a theme there and all the different components that I added into this outfit. Uh, and yeah, I just think it makes a little bit of a statement while still feeling very classic. Let's just bring you up close so you can see it a bit better. Uh, Cos do really, really incredibly beautiful outerwear. So definitely somewhere to look if you are in the Northern Hemisphere and on the hunt for a coat for the season ahead. Yeah, this one is just a really lovely quality and pockets too. <laughs> Outfit number three is a date night look. And for this, I went for a top, which I think adds an element of sexiness. <laughs> also keeping in mind that you wanna be nice and warm when it is colder. So the top that I'm wearing, you might have seen as part of my spring edit. This is from Beckenbridge and it just has the most beautiful sort of chevroned effect to the actual fabric itself which I really like it's super stretchy very comfortable they do a dress version as well which I think would be very versatile if you're wanting something that you can wear multiple ways you wear that as a dress as a top or as a skirt with a sweater or something over the top the blazer that I'm wearing is an old one this is from Country Road and I like the fact that this is more of a slightly I would call this a slimmer double-breasted style because you can see it does sort of button over but there isn't loads of excess fabric so it fits really well it does have that tailoring and structure to it which I think works really nicely with the leather trousers the bag that I'm wearing is my the curated mock croc leather bag in the nude I have done a review on this so I will leave that link down below it's quite a heavy bag when it doesn't have anything in it, but I actually, I mean, I really like it. Despite the fact that there's really only one pocket inside that I find personally functional, at least for my own needs. Um, then the shoes that I'm wearing, these are from Sam Edelman. These are a Dorze pump in a suede. So again, kind of just adding a nice little bit of texture. You can kind of see that that's sort of been really key for me with all of these outfits. I just think that these are a really sexy pump, but they are so, so comfortable. And they do come in a nude as well, which are incredibly leg lengthening. I'll link both colors down below. Yeah, that is the date night look. Then final outfit of the bunch is just casual weekend look. And for this one here, I've just gone for really, really kind of cozy, comfortable basics. I also have a coat, which I'll show you afterwards. So the sweater is a super oversized knit from And Other Stories, which I mistakenly thought was 100% wool. That was my error. Uh, it does have a bit of polyamide in there. Um, despite that, it actually does not feel softer than the 100% wool cardigan I have from And Other Stories, which I find really bizarre. Um, uh, I did mention when I first got this in my Weekend Outfits video that, yeah, it was a lot more oversized than I anticipated. You can kind of see here that the armholes are enormous. So if you're thinking about getting this, I would recommend sizing down because, uh, yeah, it, it does have that very just ultra large fit. But for a cozy weekend at home, I mean, this is perfect. It is so comfortable. <laughs> so I've done a very kind of messy front tuck, leaving the back loose and the bag that I've opted for is my pollen number one nano bag and this is in the burgundy and I just think that burgundy color adds a nice rich element uh, a really nice rich color to winter or autumnal outfits and this was something I wore a lot during the colder months just because I felt like it worked really nicely with a lot of those uh, textures or those textural elements that you're wearing um, during the colder months. The shoes that I opted for are the Common Projects Achilles sneaker. When I did my best basic sneakers, these were probably my least favorite and I can feel just having them on my, on my feet right now that they will probably give me blisters. These are better designed for narrow feet, but that said, I mean, I do really like the shape of them, but I find for my feet, having wide feet, these aren't the best version out there uh, but very good if you do have narrow feet and you want to invest in a luxury shoe but they are a bit squeaky I don't know if you can hear that <laughs> so let's just quickly step back so you can get a full look and then I will just throw a coat on one sec so I've just draped that coat over my shoulders so this is kind of what I would do if I was heading out the house going for a walk or 
you know, running out to the shops to pick something up. This one is from Everlane, and if you recall when I did my 30 item wardrobe video, this was the coat that I selected just because it is such a classic shape. It is so versatile, the color is fantastic, I love the weight of it. It is quite a heavy weight coat, um, and I think this would be the coat I would pick from Everlane if you live in a colder climate. Um, it's just, it's really well made as well. Um, I really don't think you can go wrong. I'll come up close so you can get a better look. But yeah, that's sort of the one I went with. I really like how the charcoal goes with the oatmeal color of the sweater, with the black, um, the burgundy bag, and then you kind of have these fresh white kicks on your feet. So here we go, there's a bit of a close up of the coat. It is lined. I will say um, it might give you a little bit of grief considering it's a wool coat. It's made out of recycled wool um, if you do have very sensitive skin but I don't find it an issue and generally you're wearing layers underneath the coat anyway so you should have that barrier. Yeah that is the final look just for a casual weekend at home. So there you have it. Four outfits for very different occasions. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you maybe got some outfit ideas for the season ahead if you're living in the northern hemisphere. Um, this, these videos are so fun to film and like I said I, I think it just really helps to showcase the versatility of those core wardrobe classic pieces. Don't forget to let me know down in the comment section which item you would like me to style up for my next video and if there are any other sort of scenarios that you would like me to include in the actual styling portion of the video because I could do it five, six, seven, eight ways. Um, and don't forget I have actually done some items worn 20 different ways so maybe I can link to those series down in the description box below if you'd like to go check those out because I have done sneakers, I've done blazer, I think I've done shorts, maybe another couple of items too. Oh slip dress, yeah. <laughs> so that's it from me today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time with a brand new video. See you soon. Bye.